I was sitting in the convention site one time, and a guy walks by me, and he says, and I had a very nice display out, and he says to me, Mr. Stack, where are your roles? I said, I don't have any roles with me. We have some roles back in the office. I wouldn't tell him how many because we would bought, as I told you, with some nice bags and things like this. But it was not open for public view or something like that. He says, don't you know that roles, are, that the value of the roles are very valuable? Well, I said, I have some of the coins that would be in roles right out here. He says, no, I don't want those. I want roles. He says, let me tell you something. You don't understand. Let me explain the 50D nickel to you. Now, I'm not going to give you the math correctly, but this is what he said to me. You know, they only made 2,000 bags of, no, yeah, 2,000 bags of, of uh, 50D nickels. He says, each bag had 100 rolls in it. So therefore, they have something like, um, what did he say? He said, something like, um, let's say there's only about 400 rolls in, in the, uh, available. They made 2 million coins, they got 400 rolls. They only had 50 bags. I'm, just, I'm making up the numbers. Right. And Mr. Stack, don't you understand that anything that has 50 or less is rare. I, <laughs> I have the math at home. I mean, but you just take 2 million fraction and play with it a little bit. But basically what he was saying to me, the, the less you have condensed is more valuable than the one you have loose. But the guy who was buying, making the value into the coin was the guy who bought it loose to fill the hole in the slot. But this is what we dealers were confronted with as these various promotional companies got in and tried to sell quantity in lieu of a single coin or sell bags because it was a nice way to take a big chunk of dough and run it, run it through and make a few dollars on it, extra. Mm -hmm.